After watching the video and reading the instructions, you will be able to recognize a trapezoid, apply the concept of averages to geometry, calculate the area of a trapezoid, recognize and apply the formula for finding area of a trapezoid. Let's begin. What is a trapezoid? A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. So this four-sided polygon is a plane figure and a closed shape. It has four line segments and four interior angles. The parallel sides are the trapezoid's two bases. The other two sides are its legs. Usually the trapezoid is presented with the longer parallel side, the base, horizontal. A perpendicular line from the base to the other parallel side will give you the trapezoid's height or altitude. We interrupt our quest for the area of a trapezoid to talk just a moment about averages. In mathematics, an average is the sum of a group of numbers divided by the quantity of items in the group. So if you have three people holding books, you can find the average number of books they're holding like this. Martin is holding five books. Mac is holding three books. Maria is holding four books. 5 plus 3 plus 4 equals 12 books being held by 3 people. 12 books divided by 3 people equals an average of 4 books each. To find the area of a trapezoid, you will find the average lengths of the two bases. Easy, right? Now let's find the area of a trapezoid. To find the area of any trapezoid, start by labeling its bases and altitude. In our trapezoid, label the longer base A and the shorter base B. Label a line perpendicular to the two bases H for height or altitude of the trapezoid. Notice we did not label the legs. We do not need to know anything about the length of the legs or the angles of the vertices to find the area. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is the average of the bases multiplied by the altitude. In the formula, the long and short bases are A and B. The altitude is H. Area equals the sum of a plus B divided by 2 times H. Multiplying times 1 half is the same as dividing by 2. We take half the sum of the length of the two bases, their average, and then multiply that by the altitude, or height, to find the area in square units. Let's try an example together. Trapezoid LMNO has parallel bases LM and NO. Line segment LM is 7 cm long and line segment NO is 13 cm long. We will label longer side NO as A and shorter side LM as B. The height, H, is 5 cm. First, let's plug these numbers into our formula. Area equals the sum of 13 plus 7 divided by 2 times 5. Next, we add 13 plus 7 and get 20. Then we divide by 2 and get 10. Finally, we multiply and get our answer. 10 times 5 equals 50 centimeters squared. The area of this trapezoid is 50 square centimeters. Let's try another example. Another trapezoid has a long base A, 11 meters, and a shorter base B, 7 meters. Its altitude H is 9 meters. What is the area in square meters? First, let's plug it into our formula. Area equals 11 plus 7 divided by 2 times 9. Pause the video for a moment and try it yourself. Did you get 81 square meters? If so, you're correct. Your answer for area is always in square units of the linear measurement. So a trapezoid measured in feet gives an area in square feet. Centimeters yield square centimeters, and so on. Remember that multiplying by one half is the same as dividing by two. So you can add the lengths of the bases and then divide their sum by two, if that is easier for you. Because of the commutative property of multiplication, you can rearrange these three numbers, which are one half altitude h and the length of bases a plus b, in any order to make the calculation easy. So with trapezoid LMNO, you could also have written the formula like area equals 1 half times 9 times the sum of 11 plus 7. Okay, are you ready for a harder example? Here is one more for you. 
The new trapezoid is upside down from how you usually see them, but don't let that stop you. The short base B is 21 inches long. The long base A, this time at the top of the drawing, is 31 inches long. The altitude H, no matter which way you look at the trapezoid, is 5 inches. So we can calculate this three different ways. Area equals 1 half times 5 times the sum of 31 plus 21, or area equals 1 half times the sum of 31 plus 21 times 5, or area equals the sum of 31 plus 21 divided by 2 times 5. However you use the formula, you will always get the same answer, 130 square inches. In this lesson and video, we have reviewed what a trapezoid is, examined how averages have a role in geometry, learned how to label and use the parts of a trapezoid to calculate area, and learned the formula, area equals the sum of a plus b divided by 2 times h for calculating the area of a trapezoid in square units.